So I just woke up and yeah, it's looking a bit stormy. The forecast says stormy, so I've got to get my butt out there now. I'm getting on the bike. See you soon. So someone chucked their unripe banana skin here on the road. It doesn't go on the road, folks. It goes into nature. So let's put it over here. It doesn't go in the bin either, so you're better off putting it into grass. Okay, so we're on to the fifth lap. Last lap. It's not very far, this hill. It's like less than a K, but I like it because it's intensity. I like to put some intensity in a couple of times a week. And, you know, I prefer quality over quantity. I like to get my workout done, get on with my day, feel and look my best. And this, I've found, is a really great way to do it. And if I have that negative voice, negative Nelly, like, oh, you've done enough, go back inside. You know, like what I haven't finished my routine, then I employ a mantra. I use a mantra. My mantra is fit as fuck, fit as fuck, fit as fuck. And some of you might be like, what? Why would you say that? That doesn't make sense or that doesn't inspire me or whatever. Hey, Mr. Sheep. Uh, that doesn't inspire me. It's not meant to inspire you. It's meant to inspire me. So remember, your mantra is meant to motivate you to get the work done, to get it done. Oh make it happen so yours might be something like happy healthy fit happy healthy fit happy healthy fit and you just repeat that especially in those times when it's getting tough and that just reminds you why you're out here keeps you going and it's great for that like half hour or hour of power whatever you do in the morning so try it all right i'm gonna finish this lap and i'll see you soon Hey Free Bounce, it's Freely Banana Girl here. Welcome to another vlog. So I just got back from bike ride. I'm feeling all excited to start the day. Um, I'm going to have my data in, which is dates and coconut water, normal water, vanilla drops. Blend that all up and you have an awesome mix. Something I wanted to you know, make a point of saying today is you got to make sure you have enough calories in your smoothies. I have a minimum of 1,000 calories every single time I have a smoothie because I don't want to muck around with you know a couple hundred calories. I want to just go straight to having you know the most satiating meal every single time that keeps me satisfied for like you know four or five hours after my smoothie and that's why I have sometimes a thousand you know fifteen hundred or two thousand calories in one single meal so make sure you weigh up your dates you're getting enough in that meal and you're counting your calories but counting your calories in the way making sure that you get enough you know abundance not for restriction so on to today's announcement it's very disappointing for me. Unfortunately, I am not going to be able to make the Raw to Four Thai Festival, which is going on right now in Chiang Mai. I really want to be there, but I can't. I can't go, and for the reason is the reason is Figsy. All right, because Figsy is not herself at the moment, and I've tried to find a female, an appropriate female, to stay in the house, someone I trust and I know, and I know who's going to be all right with Figsy, and I just haven't been able to find that person, and. You know, like she's like my child. You have to understand, she is like my child. And if I don't feel right about leaving her with someone or leaving her in general, then I'm not going to because she is my priority at the end of the day. You know, when I adopted her, I made a promise that I was going to look after her the best that I can. And, you know, if I'm feeling like she's not in the right place, you know, she's injured herself a couple of times, you know, she's been acting a little bit off, then I'm just, I'm not going to leave. So unfortunately, I won't be able to meet you folks. You know, I'm sorry, I'm, you know, so sorry to have to, you know, dump this on you now, but I have no choice. I have to do what I have to do. Some of the YouTubers that I watch do an outfit of the day. Well, here's my outfit of the day. I got my Uggies on, vegan of course, and I've got my jump on, and my watermelon cap from Jojo. That's it. We're going to the shop to get some soup ingredients. Aren't we, Fix? Yes, we are. At the shop. This is the sushi place that I go to get vegan sushi. Alright, so let's check this shop out. So when we come here, I've got to leave Fizzy out the back because she can't run through the shop. <laughs> Obviously. 
Wait here, Fixie. Wait here. You're all right. So we're gonna get some soup ingredients. We get some potatoes. I feel like I should have brought a bigger bag now. Some potatoes and maybe put sweet potato in it. Some mushrooms. These look a little bit old. There's a whole lot of things that we can get. Hey, little birdies. Oh, this is pretty cool. The gate's open here, so I might take things in here for a bit of a run around. I like it when it's fenced off so she can't obviously run on the road. This is like a school. Okay, Pixie. It's so important to give her off leash time. So she can explore. Little Dora the Explorer. Felix! Felix! Good girl, Pixie. Good girl. That was a good run. She just loves when it's open like this. She just loves it. Do you want a date? Yes, she does. Okay, so I'm a little bit excited because we've got oranges coming into season and they're good. These are already really tutti frutti, so I'm just so happy to get more variety rather than just dates and bananas. This is gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna juice them up on my little hand juicer there and you'll see the finished product in a moment. Okay, we're getting sweet and juicy here, folks. Gone are the days of the tiny glass of OJ. We're into the jug, we're into the pitcher here. I have at least like two liters of OJ every time I have a meal of orange juice because I don't wanna muck around with just a couple of oranges. I want a full carb hit, full sugar hit and this is such tutti frutti. Oh, amazing OJ. So I'm going to get into it. I wish you could join me. So I woke up this morning to find out that Naomi Smart had given me a shout out on her channel. And her channel is big. I mean, she's got like half a million subscribers and it was a really sweet shout out. So, hey Naomi, I'm so glad that I can inspire you and that you're trying a vegan lifestyle. Folks, go over there and support her, please, because she's just started a vegan lifestyle in the last week. So you know what it's like when you first start vegan, everyone's like, ah, so you need all the support you can get. And I'm so new to it. I've only been doing it for about a week and I already feel so amazing. It's just incredible how different your body can feel after doing this plant-based diet. I've been so inspired by all of the food bloggers and vloggers out there. I have been absolutely addicted to Deliciously Ella's blog at the moment. Her recipes just look so, so good. And also, um, Freely the Banana Girl, oh my god, I found her YouTube channel the other day and I spent about three hours just watching videos back to back. It's just so inspiring, like, how people can do this, like, the rest of their lives. There's a few people asking questions who definitely need some help. Like, I really want to become a vegan, but since I live with my parents and don't buy any food myself, it's really hard. So please go over and give Emily some tips as well. And, and of course, we've got a hater there. The fact that you talked about Freely Banana Girl makes me so upset because, yeah, she eats healthy, which is great, but her idea of beauty and health is so wrong, it's disgusting. Ah, oh, sigh. That's what I have for you, Chelsea. I have a big sigh. So me wanting people to be healthy, fit, and lean is disgusting. Strange. So some more awesome brought to four vegan exposure was on the Shaytard channel. So I often comment on the Shaytard, so I went over to Shaytard's channel. And so Carly was giving an update here, Carly's, um, Shay's sister. And I said, hey, she said she follows me on Instagram. Love your stuff. So thumbs up. That's awesome. Words getting out. 
Alrighty, so we're going for our second walk today, those little figs getting around. And we haven't done a lot today. We've been hibernating most of the day because it's been cold outside, nice and warm inside. Been pretty productive though, getting onto my ebook and emails and stuff like that. And I was thinking about doing a segment each video of about one to two minutes where I answer your questions or I answer one question per video. And I was thinking of calling that segment I was actually thinking fruit bat quickie or something like that. But then I thought, you know, I want to hear from you guys, see what you think is a good name for it. So I asked on Facebook and there was heaps of good ideas. Thank you very much for taking the time to do that. Heaps of good ideas. There was a, few, a couple in particular that stood out. Fruit bat chat. I thought that was very cool for like one to two minutes of answering a question or frequently asked questions. So free Lee's in there. So frequently ask questions so give us your vote below in the comments what one do you like better fruit bat chat or frequently asked questions and what is your question you can put your questions in the comments below i want to get to them all i seriously want to get to every single one of your questions but there's only one of me and there's only going to be one per video so please don't you know hate me for not getting to your questions straight away but i'll do my best so here are the ingredients for the soup today. All right, I'm, I'm not a chef. I have to warn you, as a lot of you know, I'm not a chef. I'm just gonna wing it. So I've got some chickpeas here, some curry powder, spice powder, um, some mild chilies, some onions, red onions. I wish I had mushrooms too, but they didn't have any at the shop. Got some root veggies, some parsley, cauliflower, greens. Let's put it all in a pot and pray. So here's the soup after I've added everything in and I actually just added some rice milk as well just because I was kind of trying to go for a bit of a curry thing, curry edge. I don't know if I ruined it or not. We'll find out soon. Here we have the finished product. It's tasty. Okay it's time to tuck in. Go free the cherry stone. 